Hey, Indy716 here, and this is going to be a review, a bit of a mod review, but a review on the 2007 Imperial Landing Craft. And amazingly enough, this is not an expanded universe set. This is actually from Episode 4, A New Hope. If you look really closely when the stormtroopers come down to Tatooine, they, you can see in the background, there is a big kind of grayish looking ship that looks a lot like this. But anyways, we're gonna move on to our figures now. You get five, which is pretty good. Cause this is actually not that big of a set. You can see here's my hand. It's like, bigger than the wingspan. Not the wingspan, sorry, the height of the, the uh, fin there. We actually get five figures in this set, which is pretty good. But this is the la last set that came with the original TIE Pilot. Nothing on the back there. You can see. Same Stormtrooper helmet design. Just no eyes, which is a little creepy, but... Then you get two completely identical stormtroopers. I like this kind better. The mouth there, they have like the gray with the black lines. The older ones, the really old, used to be just two like little little black lines. It kind of looks like a mustache. He's got like the little pad there on the back. He has a pistol. Then you get another one, same like that. Then you get two sand troopers, which are really cool looking. These guys have got like, their little orange capes there, which are fairly unique. The orange version comes in this set, and then the Mos Eisley Cantina from 2004. There's a newer black version of this that's entirely black in the newer land speeder. And I think I actually prefer the black one because it just looks, it just goes better with the Stormtrooper because it's completely black. There's not another color added in. When you get to him, that's pretty much it. And onto the set, it doesn't look much like something you'd see in the movie. It only appears in one scene for about three seconds. So it's actually curious, well, a little odd that they made a set out of it. But definitely glad they did, because this is a a great set. We're going to start off in the cockpit here. This piece just comes off. This is the same piece they used on the original Lambda class shuttles, the Imperial shuttles. Not the newer big giant one, but the older ones. Nothing much in here. You know, just some... It's a good size cockpit. It's very nice. Definitely like that. And it can nod up and down like that. Here we've got some cannons and a big missile here. I'll show you. Yeah. There you go. These ones are red and they've got kind of funny, like not like the ones in the slave one. Nice, very nice wing designs. Like that a lot. Big gears in the back there. Cool little function here. If you lift this up, then it drops two explosives, which is nice. Got that on both sides too, which is pretty cool. Then as you get nice blue jets here, look really good, go really nice with the shuttle. And then the gear here, I think anyone could guess what it does. I'm gonna turn this and our wingspan. Wings will come down. No, it's kind of bad place to pick it up from, so I'm going to show you like this. Looks a lot like an Imperial shuttle, the wings down, but it is not. The wings are designed differently. There's not a big kind of section in the middle there. And there's not a big part at the back either. Um, this is a cool set, but in my opinion, this isn't a very nice looking ship. Like, it doesn't look very sleek. Like it just it just doesn't look as good as like some ships. 
It's very cool and very functional, but just isn't the same. And we're gonna move on to our next feature, which this little red thing here. I'm gonna. Sorry, it's a little hard to do with one hand here. You're gonna flick that out of the connector piece here on both sides. Sorry, it's really, there we go. Sorry about that. Then we're just gonna lift this whole piece off here. Set that aside. And then we've got our the inside of the ship. This is a very, very cool piece. So you can see here, this is where the bombs, where the bombs go. They're just sitting there like that. And then as you can see, I'm gonna move this red piece here, move up and down like that, which is really cool. Here you can see the system for cannons. So you're gonna push the laser in here, and it pushes back on the trigger, which is very nice. It's a great, great system. It works very well. And I have actually modified the interior once again. Um, it's a little different than it was before. I, yeah, it's got, still got two blue chairs, but there's no gun holders. Like, there used to be gun racks, like, um, here. There used to be these pieces right there as gun racks. But now I've used them to hold the chairs on and keep them suspended, like, over six bumps like that. It's a little odd. And then I changed the pieces, like it used to be two big gray pieces here and here. But I changed it so now when you push down on this, you can see here it's actually a landing ramp. They can't actually walk up, which is a little unfortunate, but they can't fit under there. So they can crawl. So and they can they can also um fall out like that. So that's pretty cool. Very happy with the way that turned out. Doesn't fall off at all. Just attached on by that, but it works very, very well. Then basically how this works is you get a guy standing here, there, and then we'll have our sand troopers sitting right there and everyone holds their guns so we don't need the gun racks. So everyone's ready and then give me a second here I'm gonna put the TIE pilot in. Yeah this is the last set you get the TIE pilot like that, the original TIE pilot. There's a much nicer one in the newer viewing and when it comes out the 2012 TIE Fighter. I've seen a couple pictures of it. It looks really nice. It's the original TIE Fighter done in the same color scheme as Darth Vader's. Then we're just going to snap these on and it's going to take off, fly away. That's pretty much it for this review. Please rate and comment. Um, let me know what you think about the landing ramp. Let me know if you have any ideas how to improve it. And yeah, see you later.